Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and welcome back to How Do I Root the Nook Color to Run Honeycomb, aka Android 3.0, on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're going to take a look at how to get honeycomb on your Nook Color. In this episode specifically, we're looking at installing the Android Market and Google Apps onto our new honeycomb tablet. This is quite an involved process, thanks to AddictiveTips.com for their excellent guides. We'll link to those on the show notes on Butterscotch.com. Let's get right into it. We'll need to do a few things to get the Android Market and Google Apps up and running. This is not a simple procedure, but it won't be that difficult if you just follow along. First off, you'll need to have the Android Software Developer Kit. You can get it at bscotch.tv sdk. We'd advise saving this folder in your home folder for easy access. You can move or delete it later on. Unzip the package and go into the Tools folder. Here, launch the Android item. Terminal will pop up, and a few seconds later, you'll get the Android SDK graphical user interface. Click on Installed Packages and choose Update All. Give it a minute to pull the data in. Next, deselect every package except Android SDK Platform Tools and click the Install button. You may be asked to restart ADB. Choose Yes. Now, go back into your Android SDK folder. You should see a new folder here called Platform-Tools. You'll need to download the Android Market. The file that you want is called vending.apk, and you can get it at bscotch.tv slash vending. Save it to the Platform-Tools folder. Next, we'll want Google Services Framework.apk. Grab that from bscotch.tv slash Google Services. Now, open up a terminal window. Navigate to the Platform Tools folder of the Android SDK by using the Change Directory command, cd platform-tools. In our case, we've dropped the folder in the Home User Directory to keep things simple. Type ls and look through the file list for android-sdk-mac underscore x86. Type cd space android-sdk-mac underscore 86 to enter that folder. Now type cd space platform-tools to enter that folder. Now ensure your Nook Color with the Honeycomb SD card inserted is connected to your computer and powered up into Honeycomb. If you know what a path is and how to add a folder to it, go ahead and add platform-tools. If not, we'll be prefacing all our commands with dot slash. Follow these commands in order. Now with this command, what we're actually doing is mounting the Nook Color running Honeycomb on our Mac so we can manipulate it with Terminal. With this command, we're pushing vending.apk, which is actually the Android market, onto the Nook Color running Honeycomb. With this command, we're pushing the Google Services Framework onto the Nook Color running Honeycomb from Terminal. That's apps like Gmail, Maps, and a couple of others. With this command, we're opening a shell session on the Nook Color. And with this command, we're actually navigating into the applications directory. With this command, we're modifying the permissions on vending.apk so that it'll actually run. And with this command, we're making the same modification to Google Services Framework.apk. The exit command exits the shell session. And this final command will reboot our Nook Color running Honeycomb. Give it about 40 seconds to do so. And now you can unlock it. Go to Apps, and now you have access to the Android Market, and you've also got Maps and Gmail, among a few other Google Apps. For more episodes in this series and for full step-by-step -step show notes on the rooting process, visit Butterscotch.com.